It's time for the Funky Kids Show with your host, Winston Chim, the Mr. Beast of the computer world. Hey guys, and welcome to another live show. Yes, it's November the 14th. Welcome to the Funky Kids Show Live with your host, Winston. Yes, that's me. Just getting the streams up and running. We are live on Facebook, Twitch, as well as YouTube. Just getting the chat window up and running. Yes, Pizza X. Pig Radio, JD, how's it going? And thanks, Pig Radio, for the uh, jingles. Much appreciated. Yeah, we got a fantastic lineup for today, and we've got some prize giveaways, epic prize giveaways. So the story is that um, a couple of weeks ago, we did a, a live a prize giveaway on our website. Unfortunately, the guys who won it didn't claim the prize in seven days, and uh, we contacted them, uh, email, and so on, but no reply. So we're giving those two motherboards away live in today's show. Yes, it's the ASRock B460M Steel Legend motherboard. And we got two to give away today in this live show right now. Yes, and we will set that up later on. Okay, we're just getting the streams up and running. We are live on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube. Nova8316. Hey, how's it going? Yes, I am the Mr. Beast of the computer world. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay we're looking good we're looking good all right so uh let's bring up the agenda and see what we have for today as you can see 14th of november of course we have the news and updates on our website funky kit as well as amd 3d our sister site and then we're going to talk a little bit about this uh, sabinetic smart mic plus or sabine tech sabinet tech but anyway we'll do an unboxing on that so we'll watch the video uh, I think I just received it this week and they were kind enough to send us a sample. Uh, I want to check it out. Got what Bluetooth wireless microphone for your smartphone. And uh, yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit later on. And of course, we'll watch the video, unboxing video. We'll finish that and then we'll do Rig Builder, our system configurator, uh, which is our uh, little tool you use for uh, comparing prices. Yes, yeah, so we'll go through that. And then, of course, we got Mods of the Week. Uh, taken from our extreme PC modding group. Uh, we have, I think, over 87,000 members. So thanks, guys, for joining. It's a great place to get some modding ideas. And if you have any mods that you want to show off, head over there and start posting. And uh, we got extreme PC modding group as well as the Funky Kit and Gadgets group, which uh, Rattle Row has been busy posting a lot of mods. And then we'll take a break after that, and we'll come back with crypto update. Lots of, the, lots of things have been happening in the world of crypto. I want to share some thoughts. And then we'll do a little discussion on NVIDIA versus AMD. Your thoughts, you know, what's going on, what's going to be happening and so on. So, yeah, we'll take a, uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. And then of course, we've got some prize giveaway announcements. Yes, a fantastic prize giveaway for all our Twitch subscribers. And we'll uh, discuss that later on. And then, of course, we've got some live prize giveaways. Our two motherboards from ASRock is the ASRock B460M Steel Legend motherboard. Uh, we're giving that live in today's show. We've got two of them to give away. So uh, stay tuned. Yes. And uh, you got to watch the show if you want to win something, right? <laughs> and then we'll wrap it up with next week's preview. All right. Cool. So that's the agenda for today. Uh, we'll just have a look at the chat and see what's going on. All right. Scumberg, how's it going? Mark, JD. Yeah, everyone's uh, looking good. It's 10 a.m. Yes, in the States. Yeah, 10 a.m. I think. Uh, it's 11 here in Hong Kong. And then uh, I think 10 a.m. EST and about 3 p.m. GMT. Uh, European times, I think 6, uh, sorry, uh, 4 p.m. around there. All right, cool. All right, let's kick off with uh, news and updates on our website. Let's head over to the Funky Kit website. Here we go. And uh, we didn't do much reviews last week, so we'll go through some of the reviews that we've done the previous week. And uh, we've got more reviews later on uh, in the week coming. All right, so uh, Viotech or Viotech, a Reaper. Uh, I think we take a look at that last week. 25-inch uh, gaming monitor. And uh, it's quite nicely priced, actually. Uh, 144 hertz, not bad. And uh, let's have a look at the price. $239, so not too bad at all. I, I quite like it. One millisecond response time, very nice. 144 hertz, refresh rate. Nice. So yeah, the Viotech Reaper. 
uh, 25 inch gaming monitor you want to check that out head over to the website uh, we also have the uh, 8 data Spectrix D50 ROG certified 16 gigabytes of DDR4 uh, 3600 memory so these are the uh, ROG certified for AMD uh, motherboards uh, well Intel boards as well but they're ROG certified so uh, nice RGB let's have a look at the price 16 gig kit comes in at 138 pounds so it's around about 150 dollars ish 150 160 dollars so it's not too bad i do like the heat shield very nice and sleek looking nice rgb and uh yeah rog certified the d50 16 gigabytes of ddr4 3600 and then we got a, a shakun a light squared 180 a gaming mouse and the killer sgp30 a big hex mouse pad so uh, take a look at that. Uh, you can buy them separately. I think you can come as a kit. But um, the, the, I think the lightweight mouse are quite popular these days, and they and and they got this you know design where it, it kind of get, you get some airflow in it, I guess. <laughs> but lightweight mouse is kind of the end thing now. So yeah, look at the price. Very cheap, forty eight pounds. Uh, that's around about fifty five, sixty dollars. So. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot of uh, brands that do the uh, lightweight mouse. Cooler Masters done courses, done them, a few other brands as well. But yeah, lightweight mouse is kind of the in thing at the moment. So you want to check that out. Sharkoon Light Squared, 180 gaming mouse, lightweight. All right, and then I think Bart did the other one, uh, which is the Crucial MX500. Yes, 4 terabyte, 2.5 inch SSD SATA controller. Uh, SSD um, and then we've got the shift cam pro, uh, gro uh, pro grip which uh, I think I have it here right yeah here we go and I showed you earlier uh, in the previous shows um, very handy little uh, kind of pa battery power grip for cameras and stuff like that so yeah you can check out the full review on our website all right so reviews um, again we didn't do any reviews much last week but we'll have more uh, this coming week and the other announcement we have later on, I'll mention that, is the live prize giveaway for our Twitch subscribers. This is the ASRock B550 PG Riptide Motherboard Plus, a Ryzen 5 5600X processor combo. Yes, you get the board and the chip uh, for this month end. Uh, live show for our premium prize for our Twitch subscribers. So we'll talk about that later on in the show. Okay, so let's have a look where else. Oh, these are interesting. These are uh, kind of SSD, PCIe slot kind of interface cards, um, but they support, of course, PCIe 4 cards. And uh, surprisingly, these cards are getting really popular now um, because you can actually fit like four SSDs, the M.2 SSDs in there, and you can raid them and you can get the boost speeds up like crazy. Yeah, you, you get speeds of up to like 10,000, 12,000. Mega, uh, mega, get oh gigabytes per second. I should say. Sorry, yeah. I mean, um, it's crazy speeds. You have to get gigabytes. Yeah, yeah. So these are getting quite popular now. I think, um, you know, if you want speed, if you want uh, kind of doing stuff like video editing and things like that, then yeah, these these uh these kind of add-on cards are quite popular these days. All right. See what else is there. A couple of news about uh, DDR5 coming as well. I mentioned that last week. Look at this one. OWC, o -W -C, what I mentioned earlier. The uh, uh, El Celsio. El Celsio? Yeah. 8M2 world's fastest capacity PCIe SSD. So it, it gets so hot, you need a fan on this thing. Yeah. Check it out. And this whole thing is a, a heat sink, I guess. Uh, 26,000 megabytes per second. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's like 26 gig a sec. That's the speed you can get on this thing. That's nuts. Ain't cheap though. Probably ain't cheap. Uh, no mention of... Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. $1,299 for the uh, 64 terabyte. Sorry, sorry. Uh, starting at $799 for the and 2 terabyte, 4 terabyte. So, yeah. Starting from $799 all the way up to $1,299. Woo! But yeah, these these are super fast speeds. Um, SSD accelerators. 
26,000 megabytes per second. 26 gig per second. That's nuts. <laughs> Not cheap though, but yeah, if you want performance, boy, that'll give you the performance. Yeah, uh, mentioned DDR5. I went to the uh, local store uh, down where I am, and um, they have DDR5, but not not the RGB version. It's just plain heatsink and just DDR5. And and uh, I think there's a little shortage. There's a kind of like you know I couldn't find much, and I asked the guy. I said, look, yeah, looking at probably next year before you get the DDR. RGB version, DR5 RGB version. So um, right now, if you do get the Z690 board for the Intel 12th gen, uh, you want uh, RGB DDR5 RAM, you're, you're out of luck. You're gonna have to wait until probably towards the end of the year, early next year, before you can get your hands on the uh, DDR5 RGB versions. Yeah, so I'm, I'm holding on. I'm, I'm happy with my Ryzen. I'm, I'm good with that. All right, so that's pretty much it for the news and announcements. Uh, I post this video, um, earlier or yesterday and uh, it, again it's the the smart mic uh, video uh, unboxing and testing so this will coincide with my review which I will uh, publish tomorrow so but in today's show we'll, we'll show you the video as well anyway so okay all right so news update for funky get done let's check it out uh, our chat and see what's going on hey Raul Ro, welcome to the show. And thank you for posting those uh, mods on the Funky Kitten Gadgets. And we'll take a look at that in our Mods of the Week. All right, Sweetie Balls. Hey, how's it going? All right, this show is getting funky. <laughs> all right, okay, let's take a look at our sister site, AMD 3D. To do with all things AMD related. Uh, Ryzen... Rippers, Radeons, Xboxes, PS5s, gaming, yeah, all sorts. So take a look at this. All right, here we go. Uh, Valve, yes, Valve have uh, Steam Deck. So this is the new handheld console that they produced. Uh, someone's actually taken it apart, and you can see the internals in there. Uh, what it uses is the AMD Ry uh, Ryzen or Zen 2 uh, with RDNA 2 chip. So, um, it's code name, uh, is it Aerith? But, uh, yeah, it's, it, it runs on, um, this, uh, RDNA 2 GPU with 8 compute units. Clock speeds between 1 to 1 1.6 gig. And, um, here we go, some more details about that. 16 gig of unified memory with 1 gigabyte VRAM. Uh, 8 gigabytes of uh, total bandwidth, 88 gigabytes per second, sorry, uh, bandwidth. And uh, 55 on the uh, teraflops. So here you go, CPU, we've got the Zen 2, 4 core, 8, uh, eight thread, 2.4 to 1, uh, 3.5 gigahertz. And the GPU is a 8 or compute core uh, RDNA 2. Um, so it runs about 4 to 15 watts. That's not bad, actually. Well, you need that for a mobile kind of handheld console. Um, you need, you know, battery power. So you need to be efficient on the uh, the battery and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a very interesting uh, um, handheld. I'd love to see how it works. I've seen this thing uh, on a promotional video where they actually put this thing into a deck and you can actually connect keyboards, a monitor and all sorts of accessories into this deck. Um, so you, it turns into like a little mini computer. So it's really interesting. I, I really want to see how this thing works. Turning into like a, a little mini PC. All right, where else do we have? Um, this is nuts. Xbox Series X. Uh, so, of course, <laughs> some guy has actually, the designer, uh, Gucci, uh, produced, or some designers actually done this. I mean, how vain can you get? <laughs> you have a Gucci-designed Xbox. It comes with the case, of course, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I mean, look at, the, look at the controllers. I mean, look at the actual... Uh, Xbox uh, case <laughs> chassis. That's nuts. Um, how? Uh, here you go. Gucci plans to sell only 100 of these handmade, hand numbered units. 100 of these. Uh, I can see this thing go up in like thousands, thousands, literally thousands. Um, limited edition. Boy, it comes with this, of course, this, this nice little briefcase, I guess. This. Uh, 
carry case. But um, yeah, Gucci making uh, Xboxes, huh? <laughs> ah, okay. All right, so where else do we have? Uh, oh, Forza 5. Yeah, Forza Horizon 5. This game is stunning. I've seen, uh, you know, video clips. I've seen footage on this game, and it looks so good. If you have everything, to, if you have a, a RTX, of course, um, I think minimum you get like 20 series RTX, but of course people running a, a you know, 3060, 3070, 80 and so on. Uh, even a Radeon as well, the, you get the 6800, 6700 is fine as well. But uh, yeah, turn out all the settings to max and uh, this thing looks so good. Forza Horizon 5, if you get to download this, buy it, the, the, the game shots uh, and, and the... the the, the visuals are just stunning. I, I couldn't imagine uh, this game being so good. Um, but yeah, it's, yeah, check it out. Forza 5, man. Forza uh, uh, Horizon 5. It's, um, it's It looks so good. All right. Okay. And, um, oh, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, and of course, earlier last week as well, uh, AMD stock went up like crazy. Metaverse... Metaverse. Uh, they signed up with a deal with uh, Facebook Meta, Meta, Facebook. Yeah, uh, and it, it, the stock went up like crazy. So, so that means uh, you we could be seeing uh, the next edition of Oculus, the third gen, fourth gen, fifth gen, whatever, using AMD, um, you know, chips inside their Oculuses and stuff like that. So the v, the three D VR glasses. So yeah, who knows? I mean, the goggles. Uh, I'd love to see how that works. I mean, AMD have really kind of, uh, for the last couple of years, been really kind of like, you know, doing really well for themselves, especially with Ryzen chips. And they got the right, the Radeon's still behind in, uh, NVIDIA, but still, uh, you, 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 you can see all the AMD chips in uh, Xboxes and, and PS5s. So, you know, it, it's only natural that if you get going to produce any VR goggles for this meta for, uh, for Facebook, then. Uh, the VR world, you're going to be using AMD chips. That would probably be the best cost-effective, yeah. Because the AMD is always cheaper than NVIDIA, right? So um, I'm guessing that's the best choice. But don't get, you know, get me wrong. I mean, NVIDIA is doing also the Omniverse, right? And they're, they're going to be, you know, producing a lot of the AI, the, the you know, the GPU servers and data centers and stuff like that. So, yeah, they're on top of it. But, yeah, well done to um, AMD with... Uh, you know, signing up with uh, Meta. I'd love to see how the hardware will kick in. Yeah, so that's the other news. And see where else we have. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, uh, a friend of mine had written an article on this. Uh, it's the um, League of Legends. So anyone into esports, the, the teams, DG, DWG Kia or Kaya. Defeats the T1 in the uh, League of Legends. All right. Uh, other news include this one, the, the Ryzen 7000 Raphael H mobile processor. The, this one has, apparently, is going to be using 5 nanometer Zen 4 architecture with uh, 16 cores. So that's interesting. Um, if that's the case, it'll probably be one of the most powerful mobile chips you can get right now. Yeah. You're looking at uh, it supports DDR5 and PCI5, um, Zen 4 architecture with 5 nanometer uh, process there. S uh, 16, 16 cores they're look looking at. Very interesting. And the other thing is also this one, I'm, I'll take a look at this one. Um, if you have an Xbox, there's a, you know, the, the Xbox Design Lab are producing these controllers with rubber buttons. Yeah. So rubber buttons or rubber grips, I should say, with the metallic finish on the actual chassis. So it looks pretty cool. Let's 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 see if we can play this. Look at that. Oh, very nice. All ah, right. So so you, the, the grips and the and those are rubberized. 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 <laughs> yeah. So if you're into your console gaming, you want to want to check that out. All right, so AMD 3D covered. Um, we'll have more interesting AMD 3 news uh, in a week, and do go back and check out the website. All right, let's have a little chat and see what's going on. 
<laughs> Pig Radio says, coming in 2022, the limited edition Gucci Funky Chicken. Only 50 will be made. <laughs> Retail price, $5,000. Oh. Um... Pizza X says lag. I, I couldn't see any lag on my, my side. Uh, I think we're good though. Please report any lag. You never know. But so far from my side, looks pretty cool. But yeah, let me know. All right. So website's done, and uh, we're gonna take uh, a look at the Sabinetic or Sabine Tech uh, Smart Mic Plus. It's a wireless Bluetooth uh, microphone for smartphones and tablets. And uh, yeah, check out the video and uh, hope you enjoy. So we'll see you in a bit. Hey, what's up guys, Winston here, and today we'll be taking a quick look at the Sabinetic Smart Mic Plus. It's a wireless Bluetooth microphone suitable for smartphones and tablets. The Smart Mic Plus is a tiny little microphone, you can see, weighs only 14 grams and uh, is suitable for, of course, Android and uh, iOS devices and uh, it offers active noise cancelling as well as a real-time audio monitoring. Uh, what I like about this is the size and actually you could just clip that onto your uh, shirt and start recording. There's a little red button here which you can use for Bluetooth connection and also use it as a remote control for recording and things like that. What I like about this microphone is that it has a 3.5 millimeter TRS connector which allows you then to connect uh, extra microphones or headsets. And uh, yeah, it offers a, a recording distance of around about 15 meters, which is more than enough. And uh, I can see myself using this a lot. It's perfect for vloggers and people who are on the go who just wants to have a, a nice recording uh, using their mobile phones. Um, yeah, so we'll do a quick unboxing and uh, see how it works. And we'll see you in a bit. All right, let's do a quick unboxing of the Sabinetech Smart Mic Plus. It's compatible with the Apple iOS and the Android. Okay, it's a Bluetooth wireless microphone and uh, suitable for vlogging. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's take a look inside the box. All right, here we go. And here we have the actual microphone itself. It's quite small. I quite like the size of it. Let's have a look at the accessories first. Okay, here we have a dead cat. Is what you call a dead cat? Uh, wind proof shield. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then we have the actual sponge for the microphone. Quite nice. Uh, we also have the uh, USB charging cable. And uh, we have an earphone for uh, real time monitoring of the audio. And uh, I quite like that as well. All right. We also have the quick start guide and uh, some information about the uh, manual there. All right. Okay, let's have a look at the, uh, the microphone itself. Just uh, and kind of hook that. Here we go. All right, here we have the Sabinetic Smart Mic Plus. It's quite a small, compact, wireless microphone. And here we have the actual switch there. And you hold that then to connect up with the Bluetooth. And you can use that as a remote control to start recording as well. There's the USB uh, charging port. Okay. And then we have a little microphone there. You can see that right there. And also a earphone jack. Uh, well, it's actually a four pin TRS connector. So I'm sure you can actually put a uh, headset, uh, an extra mic, for example, and things like that as well. Okay, and you can see the clip, and you can clip that onto your shirt and things like that. So yeah, very nice, compact, 
let's uh, pair this up with the Bluetooth and see how it works. And I'm interested in the actual audio quality and see how far you can actually record in terms of distance. It's perfect for vloggers and people on the go who wants to do uh, recording uh, wirelessly with their phone. And uh, yeah, here's a quick unboxing of the Sabinetic Smart Mic Plus. All right, so this is with the internal mic on the phone, of the iPhone, so uh, you can see the difference, you can hear the difference. I'm walking away now and my voice is getting fainter and fainter. Uh, there's probably a lot of background noise, so yeah, definitely make a difference. Pretty small, I'm gonna actually clip it onto my shirt right here. And uh, this is with the mic on my shirt and I'm walking away from the camera. So you can see it's pretty loud and this is about uh, 15 feet now. So 20 feet. Um, pretty this, you know, so yeah, not bad. Good audio and I uh, uh, really like it actually. Not too bad. And there you have it, that was a quick look at the Sabernetic Smart Mic Plus, a Bluetooth wireless microphone suitable for uh, smartphones and tablets. It's perfect for vloggers and people on the go and offers a recording distance of around about 15 meters uh, with active noise cancelling and real-time uh, audio monitoring. Hope you enjoyed this video, give us a like and uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget you can actually buy this via the links in the description and of course visit our website for more news, reviews and hot tips. Oh yeah, don't forget, hit the subscribe button for more. Until next time, this is Winston for FunkyKit.com. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, that was uh, the Smart Mic Plus, and I have it right here, it's tiny. Yeah, there you go. Come on, come on, it's focus, focus. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yes, here it is. And uh, yeah, the clip, you just need to just Put that there and away you go. Hit the record button, press the button and uh, yeah. So this is pretty cool, I love this and uh, it's perfect for vloggers, people on the go. And the single mic works with the application so you need to download the app, right? Uh, but if you get two of these, uh, one of them becomes the receiver which connects to the phone or the tablet and the other one connects to your shirt there as a transmitter. So you can use that then to do some live streaming. So uh, I'll be getting another one of these and uh, pair it up so that you can do some live streaming and uh, uh, well, third party apps, Twitch and things like that as well. So I'd love to see how this works with two of them. And uh, yeah, we'll let you know. But yeah, two of these will work fine for streaming and stuff like that. But a single uh, uh, mic will work with the application. The uh, You can download the app. All uh, right, great. Check out the full review. It's coming out uh, tomorrow. And also, of course, if you want to check out the, the video again, you can go to our YouTube channel. It's live right now. All right, so that was the, the Sabinetic or Subbanetech uh, Smart Mic Plus. Okay, cool. Pig Radio says, interesting little mic. <laughs> Sudi Ball says, yeah, <laughs> a mini dead cat. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's there somewhere. <laughs> Um, you could clip it onto your, yeah, so, yeah, you can record people. I think it records distance um, around about 15 meters away from the phone if you, you know, do a wirelessly Bluetooth. Uh, but within the facility, I say two to three meters. So in other words, if someone's next to you right here, uh, it'll pick up their voice as well. So not bad at all, not bad. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the first prize giveaway. Um, and then we'll move on to other prize giveaways. Okay, so this one is the ASRock B460M Steel Ledger Motherboard. So if I click on here, let me just get that page up and running. All right, so we have here. So this is the prize giveaway that we did a couple of weeks ago. Um, unfortunately, seven days have passed. Both Tanner Clark and Ivan B did not contact us to claim the prize because we needed 
the contact information, shipping address, telephone number, and so on, so we could ship it out, right? So they didn't contact us. I, I did send them emails. I didn't get a reply. So unfortunately, after seven days, it goes back into a prize giveaway, which we will give away today, live in the show. So, um, yeah. So we're going to do the first one. And um, and this is the ASRock B460M Steel Legend motherboard. Check it out. Uh, it's suitable for Intel 10th gen processors. I think you can flash the BIOS to give you the 11th gen uh, support as well. Uh, DDR4 supports uh, DDR4 2399, 2933. Uh, but it's a mini, uh, I would say it's a micro ATX system uh, board, so it should fit in most cases. It's got the usual, um, you know, the polychrome, and it's got a nice uh, setup as well. You can check it out. Here we go. Yeah, it's got a nice heat shield there for the M.2 SSD. Nice silver heat sinks there. Nice RGB as well. So yeah, we're gonna give one of these uh, for the first one, and uh, I'm gonna set that up now. So let me uh, get the Streamlabs up and running, making sure the settings. Here you go. The command for this one is uh, head over to Twitch.tv, guys, and uh, follow us and join the chat. Okay. So the first prize is uh, the ASRock B460M Steel Legend Motherboard, and you need to type in the command is plus I love ASRock, okay? So let me start this one up. Here we go. And you have 10 minutes for this one. It started. Go ahead, join the chat. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit. Give us a follow, join the chat, type in the command. You've got 10 minutes for this one. So while that's running, uh, we're going to go and do the uh, rig builder that's right our system configurator which is developed by my brother Yao and it's a fantastic tool for you guys to just play around with uh, to get some prices and comparisons and stuff like that so let's head over to the rig builder rig builders on our website top left hand corner you can see that rig builder right there let's hit that and as you can see uh, we got workstation and gaming so we're gonna select gaming and we're gonna select a budget say 1600 for example and we're going to select Intel for the processor and for the graphics card, we got NVIDIA, say, and we'll hit the submit button. And what will happen is it'll go to the Amazon to get the best prices, best matching your criteria. OK, so, for example, if you selected an Intel processor, it will ma best match it with an Intel board. It won't select an AMD board. So Intel processor, Intel board, which makes sense. All right. It automatically selected Intel Core i7-1100. Uh, 11 700k I think that's okay if you want something else uh, based on the price of course only 1600 that's fine I like the K processor that's good enough let's take a look further down with the motherboard it should be uh, the Z 390 490 590 even yeah so let's select the uh, you got the Zeus Prime there uh, Z 590 is good enough graphics card we selected N Nvidia right so of course, <laughs> Amazon has been pants with their prices on graphics card. It hasn't been really updated, and the old graphics card are ridiculously priced anyway. We're still waiting for Amazon to fix that. Um, we're not going to see much change over the next couple of months. Chip shortage, GPU prices is going to be stupid, ridiculously high. So uh, we can skip that. Uh, uh, memory, we've got DDR4. So we've got uh, brands, Corsair, Team Group, Mushkin. Uh, I've always chosen the Patriot. I like the Patriot Viper Gaming. I love the RGB on that. So we're going to select that one. DDR4 4133. That's good enough. Solid state SSD. We got Samsung Crucial Team Group. I think I'll go with the uh, the Samsung. That's nice. The 980 SSD, one terabyte, $119. Not bad. And power supply, we got EVGA, Corsair. We got the uh, in the white or the black. I think I'll go for the uh, the white version here, 850 watt Corsair RMX. Or oh, yeah, that's good enough. Cases we got Corsair again, Fractal Design, Cooler Master. Ooh, look at this one. That's interesting. GIM, ATX. Okay, maybe I'll select that one. All right. So once you're happy with the selection, you can uh, check, double check. A uh, good thing about this is that you could actually uh, hover your mouse over the link. See that there? And you can click on the actual link. It'll open a new window where you can take a look at the actual product in more detail. And that's something I really like about this rig builder. 
All right, so we go back to the rig builder and once you're happy with the list, all you need to do is hit the buy all button. It will take you then to the uh, list of all the products that you selected. If there's anything that's missing or out of stock, it will mention down below. Um, but so, so far, so good. If you're happy with that list, all you need to do next is hit the continue button and then it will then take you to the shopping cart. Uh, of course, all Amazon. All right, so hope you enjoyed that. Please continue to use Rig Builder in support of us. Um, it's, it's a really good tool and of course recommend it to your friend. I think one of our uh, guests, uh, Bobby from the Frag and Lagen crew has been using this uh, for his PC build. And uh, yeah, it's a great little tool. And uh, yeah, I love it. So thanks you for the uh, Rig Builder. It's available both on the uh, Funky Kit website as well as the AMD 3D website. Here you go, you can Rig Builder, top left hand corner on both of the websites. All right. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the chat and see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, so the uh, the entry is coming through. And then we've got five minutes left on this one. And it's the ASRock B460M Steel Legend motherboard. Uh, we're giving one of those live today in a show. And we have another one to give away later on in the show as well. All right, let's talk about the grand prize for later this month, which is only available for Twitch subscribers. So don't forget, head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe because this, guys, is what you'll be winning. Yes, that's right. It's the ASRock B550 PG Riptide motherboard plus an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X processor combo. Yes, yeah, so I've given you the board and the chip away of oh, fantastic prize uh at the end of the month and uh don't forget to join the show of course you need to be a twitch subscriber on our channel so head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe and uh of course you need to join the show and then uh we will give you uh, a, a a chance to win this fantastic prize yeah we've given away the x570s uh a couple of weeks ago and I've been, I just shipped it out and it's going to, I think it's going to Italy. Yeah, somewhere, I think it's somewhere in Italy, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shipping costs all covered. I paid for that, all right? So all the price giveaways, all the shipping costs are paid. You just need to enter. Of course, join the show. Uh, tune in for our show and make sure you subscribe. Yes, the, go ahead over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. All right, so I want to show you what it looks like. Of course, here we go. There's the chip. That's right, guys. It's the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X. This is what you'll be getting along with this. It's the ASRock B550 PG Riptide motherboard with the chip. That's right, with the chip. Together. <laughs> yes. Only available for our Twitch subscribers. Head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. And uh, you'll be in for a chance to win this fantastic prize. Only available for our Twitch subscribers at the end of the month. Okay, so look out for the uh, uh, announcement. And the announcement, I think, is already there. Let me show you. Here we go. Live prize giveaway 135. We're giving away a B550 PG rip time of the board. Plus a Ryzen 5 5600X CPU combo that's right yeah that's right look at that look at this fantastic board you can check out the full review and the video the video is available right now on our youtube channel and the full reviews on our website as well you begin one of these very nice look at that look at that and the board together fantastic I don't think anybody can give you away stuff for free like this, right? You, yeah, yeah, call me the Mr. Beast of computers. <laughs> All right, that's right. When it comes to live <laughs> prize giveaways, the sky is a beast. beast. Winston Chim and Funky Kid. That's right. And uh, yeah, fantastic board, love it. Look at that. You can check out the full review on our website as well as the YouTube video on our channel. 
It comes with a graphics card holder. Very interesting. And uh, don't forget, subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to our Twitch channel. Head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit and subscribe. It will be a live show for our Twitch subscribers only uh, on Sunday the 28th of November at these times. So don't forget to join in and tune in. All right. So this is uh, something that you could look forward to towards the end of the month. And it's perfect because that weekend, I believe, is uh, Black Friday. You guys, can, and if you live in the States there, it's uh, you know time to get some Christmas presents and good deals on Black Friday. And I think you have Cyber Monday as well, right? <laughs> yeah, cool. Hey, Panda, how's it going? Hi, grandparents. Yay. All right, let's have a look at the chat. And uh, see how it's going. Oh, we got 45 seconds for the first prize giveaway. And that is the ASRock B460M. Steel Edge motherboard. Yes, it is this one. Let me show you what it looks like. Prize giveaways. Yeah. It's the first prize giveaway of the night. Or of the day, I guess. It's one of these. Suitable for 10th gen processors. Intel. All right. Okay, let's have a look. I think we're done. We've got five seconds left. Woo! And we are going to pick a winner. All right. So the first one, um, I want to just pick it from the Streamlabs app. Okay, so randomly pick a, a name. And the second one, uh, we will do a wheel to side. How's that? Just to be fair. All right, so we're going to count down to five. Are you ready? Hey. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> and the winner is... Have we got a winner? Pandab! Pandab, you're the winner! Congrats! <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna give you a clap. I think you won something last time, didn't you? Run Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Well done, well done. You are the winner. Pandab. You've won. Yeah, yeah, that's amazing. It's, it's crazy. It's randomly picked. I, it's totally out of my control. Hey, all I'm asking you is for if you win something I and you've got two, and you've got one spare, pay it forward. Give it to someone else. Um, you know, it, it is something that I think it's, it's good to do, right? Because if you want something and you want another thing, um, keep the one that you want. But then give away the other one, right? That's something I think you should do. So uh, if you agree on that, I think that'll be, you know, it's something that I think you should do, right? Okay, so um, well done to Panda for that. It's uh, it's totally random and well done. He's actually won two things uh, one <laughs> last week and this week, I think, or the week before. But uh, well done, well done, congrats. All right, don't despair. We have another one to give away. Okay, so for the next one, Pandab, I'm going to leave your name out, unfortunately. Okay, so you've won something uh, for this first one. So for the second one, I'll have to leave your name out. Okay, that's fair enough, right? And again, same thing, because you've won something twice over the last couple of weeks, uh, keep the one that you want and, uh, of course, pay it forward. Give the other one away to someone that you know, someone that you love, someone that you think needs a PC or a new component, whatever. I think that's the right thing to do, all right? Okay, cool. So let's move on. And uh, for the next one, it's going to be, of course, our, yeah, you know what it is? Yeah, that's right. It's time for Funky Kit's Mods of, of the, the week. week. Ah, Mods of the Week. Taken from our Extreme PC modding group. Okay, so uh, let's do that. And uh, we have over, I think, 87,000 members or around about there. So it's a great place to get some modding ideas as well as if you have any mods that you want to post, 
head over there start posting okay so let's do the first one uh here we go let's click on that page here we go extreme pc modern group and let's scroll down let's have a look at this one this one uh i think it's from a friend of mine uh rob shannon rob he's at the pdx line uh line uh, LAN at the moment yeah pdx LAN. and this little pc if you look at it it looks really nice with the cable management look at that look at the cable management hey, let me zoom in let me show you look at that that is super nice with the cable management and if you notice the graphics card is in the front right here which is very uniquely placed because um normally the fans from the front will suck air into the chassis right so i'm guessing where the hell the air or the hot air exhaust will go I'm guessing it'll go through here and then up through the top and at the back, of course. But a uh, very unusual placement for a graphics card. It's pretty unique. It's something that I would probably want to do. But anyway, moving on. Oh, he's got this nice LCD panel right here um, with all the, you know, you can program it to do uh, ADA64 monitoring of the temperatures. And it basically you can do whatever uh, graphics and display you want. And it's a nice big size as well uh, in case... Uh, of course, uh, for the uh, PCU cover there. All right. Be quiet. Hey, looks like a big quiet build there. Very nice. Oh, some adverts on the screen. <laughs> <Be quiet. laughs> uh, okay. All right. Okay, that's enough. That's enough uh, advertising there. But yeah, I do like the cable management. I, I do like the way that he actually put the graphics card in the front there. So I'm going to give this uh, a 7.5, possibly 8. For this one all right okay so we we'll move on to the next one let's take a look see what else we have here um this one is it's okay um at least you got the ram um you know accessible so that's that's good that's good uh these are the old versions of the uh the streamer or strimer i guess uh these are the extension cables with the uh with the rgb uh, i don't particularly like these ones though gsco uh, rams okay the blue kind of um coolant pastel is a bit sucky um rgb is okay distro plate yeah but uh yeah uh i'll probably give this one a seven yeah. Uh, okay. Um, nothing much there. All right. So I think we saw this one before. This one is the. Um, yeah, this is the uh, best best edit uh, game studio. This is the. I think it's uh, Vault. Is it? The, is the? Is it the? Uh, the Vault. Yeah. That's okay. I mean, this is. I think this. Uh, this one I've seen before. He's just kind of um, shown us again. But yeah, I, I, I like to. I do like this one. This is interesting. Could have covered cover this a little bit more. This uh, new cola is like a big massive reservoir. Soft tubing. Maybe could have done with a little bit of hard tubing. I think that would have been nice. Oh, oh, it does have hard tubing right here. A bit of soft into tubing into the CPU there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. There's a little more video there. This one is uh, NZXT build, is it? Yeah, okay. All in one. It's just a standard build, nothing to it though. Um, yeah, nothing special about this one. Probably give it, give it a seven maybe or 6.5 Ooh, i do like this one very nice and compact mini itx board in there i love anything that's mini itx you know me uh soft tubing makes sense because it's a compact case you can't you can't fit really much hard tubing in there um looks like alpha cool water co cooling components this is look like an xbox oh it is an xbox chassis uh, the old Xbox, by the way. Yeah. 
Uh, I love it. Easy, accessible to the RAM. I like that. Very nice. Compact. I quite like it. It's very much. In fact, uh, oh, it's ASRock board as well. Yep. Uh, I'm going to give this a, a good old 8.5. Oh, look at the USB here. That's That's custom as well. Very nice. Yeah, 8.5, possibly 9. Yeah, I do like this. Ooh, look at that. Is he able to put the graphics card in there? I, I can't see that though. Oh no, he put the separate graphics card onto an external enclosure. And he'll run it off, of course, the uh, USB-C or the um, USB there. So yeah. That's uh, that's a really nice setup, I guess. Yeah. Oh, he's got some uh, results there, but yeah, if you look at that, so it looks so cool. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight point five, possibly nine for this one. Very nice. Oh, so this guy now continued uh, with the with the pink work. He's actually painted it yellow now. You can see that. Um. So. Before we we didn't know what these bottom bits were, but now we've no these actually wheels. Uh, but this is whole this whole thing is actually a metal, so it's going to be heavy. So I'd love to see how this build will you know looks like once it's finished. This one Raccoon City we've seen before. All right, some desk PC again not complete, but I uh, love to see it. I think I've seen this one before. This is the. Uh, what appears to be like a, a grape coolant there. <laughs> Purple coolant, but looks like grape juice. Uh, soft tubing all around. Um, okay, I guess, but I do prefer hard tubing. If you have a chassis like this, you probably want some nice hard tubing. Soft tubing does work uh, in certain areas. Uh, nice purple and white uh, extension power cables there. I might give this a, a 7.5. All right, moving on. Oh, this is a very, uh, very nice uh, Azus build. Uh, the the tubing is quite nicely set out. Uh, points deducted for the RAM. You can't access the RAM there. Uh, but yeah, very clean, very, um, very nice. Nice purple. It's got the uh, ROG. Republic of Gamers there. Design purple and blue. Okay, ooh, very nice cable management though. Look at this, no cables. I can't see any cables. Very nice. Okay, I'll, I'll probably give us an eight. You know. Very nice, yeah. Oh yeah, the Strymon Plus. Uh, I've got I've got these extension cables. I love this. I love the uh, the effects you can actually put on the uh, the power extension cables. Yeah, makes the makes the PC look so pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, look at this one. This one is unusual in the sense that uh, this huge tubing, this pretty tubing. I know it's an all-in-one, but it just kind of like makes it damn ugly. <laughs> I've I've seen some new. Um, Accessories for these uh, uh, braided uh, tubing. Uh, I think Cool Master makes them. It's a RGB wrap. Yeah, it's an RGB wrap that wraps around the all-in-one braided tubing, and it looks, you know, RGB. Um, I'll see if I can pick it from uh, a, a photo I have. But yeah, I think they could have tidied up the cable, kind of moved it out of the way. Um, but yeah, kind of like black theme build. Yeah, I I don't like this all in one though. This one looks looks pretty cheap to be honest with you. Sorry, but um, have Perex is it Kingston Fury? Oh, Kingston Fury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry guys, Kingston now have making Fury Ram. It's their brand Fury. Yeah. All right, well, um, not too fussed about this one. I'll probably give it a seven. 
All right, have I seen this one before? I I think I have. Um, it looks clean. The tubing is um covering the RAM there, so points deducted for that. But very clean. Looks very uh industrial. Has he got it? Has he got this thing up and running with the liquid? Um, no liquid yet. But um, yeah, look at that. I mean, it it, it just covers the RAM and and it spoils the you know. So for this one, I'll probably give it a seven point five, possibly eight. I mean, it, it it you know if if that was away from the RAM, then yeah. Definitely uh, an 8.5 for cleanliness and it's a clean build. All right. Okay. Nice. Okay. Moving on. Let's have a look where else we have here. I think I've seen one of them before. Yep. Nothing else here. Uh, this one, I believe I've seen before. Yep. It's the, it's the RTX with uh, this fractal design chassis, blue and black design, blue coolant. Yeah. I quite like this one. I do like the this particular kind of design where you have one tube just go straight down. I do like this kind of design when it comes to loops. Um, having loops all over the place, kind of over the RAM, over the graphics card, it's kind of like a bit of everywhere, really. A slight disappointment with the uh, the RAM again. It's, it's covered, but um, it's okay. I'll probably give this. Um, an eight. It's very clean. I quite like it. All right. I'll have one more on the Extreme PC modding group, and then uh, we will move over to the Funky Gadgets group. Have we seen this one before? Oh, let's take a look at uh, the Porsche one. Is it a Porsche? Yeah. GT3. Uh, I think this is an old one, I think. I think I've seen this one before, right? Nothing black and blue design there. It doesn't really bring out the tubing. I think the tubing could have been like maybe white or well, liquid coolant. White, that'd be quite nice. Um, but nothing spectacular. I'll probably give this a, I'll probably give it a 7.5. All right, so this one, let's have a look at this one. This is interesting. This is an unusual one. Doom. Doom themed PC. It's got some nice paintwork there. Aero cool. Ah, oh, that's the one I haven't seen for a while. It's not that popular, the all in one kind of uh, cooler there. Ballistics RAM, RGB, nice and red there. Oh, he's got a Steel Legend motherboard. Ha, huh, I see. Is this a fan cooler? It's not an all-in-one, right? It looks like a fan cooler. Oh, it is a fan cooler. Interesting. It's got this infinity effect. Uh, but it looks pretty tall from what I can see. Aero cool. Wow. All right. Oh, this is the... Um, the uh, tempered glass splice side panel there, right there with the decals. It looks okay. Um, you know, something that I, I would consider. I'll probably give it a 7.5 for this one. Yeah. Okay, so that's enough for the Extreme PC modding group. Let's head over to uh, Rat Row selection of um, mods. Mods of the week. Let's take a look at this one. Oh, some pink stuff going on here. A uh, bit of mix of... Is that soft tubing there, do you think? It could be a hard tubing, but it's kind of like... Very short bend there. Uh, graphics card plate there. I do like graphics card with a nice black uh, back plate. Uh, ooh, look at the uh, cable management. That looks so sexy. I like this. Very nice. Just for the cable management, I would give this a good old 8. 
Ah, see, see this? See that there, right there? So, here, you don't have the tubing, which is kind of like pretty much plain, and but it does look sexy, <laughs> right? As soon as you put the tubing in, it's, it's get cluttered. But mind you, this is, of course, a mini, looks like a mini MIDI case, right? So it's a compact case, so it's quite difficult to put everything in. But yeah, you can see it's crowded. But uh, he's done a good job with it, so nice and pink, white design there. Yeah, I'll probably give this a 7.5. Oh, there's my little video there. You can check it out. Okay, so let's have a look. There's more here. Oh, look at this one. That's interesting. This is an open chassis um, type of build. The reservoir is outside, and the soft tubing goes in. And uh, oh, there's some interesting RAM. I haven't heard of this brand before. Atic, Atic, Atic. And uh, yeah, it's one of these vertical PCs. The reservoir at the top is kind of like odd, but works with this kind of orange, bronze, black theme going on there. Graphics card is vertically, uh, vertical, but also facing kind of downwards. Uh, uh, interesting position there. Okay, it looks interesting. I do. I quite like this actually. So uh, I'm going to give this eight point five. Nice, uh, nicely designed. Very nice. Yeah, 8.5 for this one. All right, so this one uh, is kind of kind of all over the place. I think it's using an in-win case, but um, see where like these plates are up here and it's kind of like all over the place. It's quite cluttered to be honest as well. Um, I'm not a big fan of this case though. Um, not too fast to be honest with you. I mean, if the guy could have painted the the chassis to a different color, possibly different, you know, to match it. Um, but yeah, but it looks like just a standard build with a bit of hard tubing in there. Nothing spectacular. I, I'm gonna give this probably seven to be honest with you. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Oh, another Venom build. Carnage. Ooh, Carnage. Uh, air cooler. Interesting choice. Uh, you have a nice uh, graphics card there with the red painted uh, graphics card kind of cover there. Carnage painted. Very nice. I like the uh, the paint work there. Oh, look at that. Nice paint work. Okay. Even the graphics card is uh, nicely painted with the uh, that kind of design. All right, very nice. It's um, I haven't seen it in action in terms of what it looks like inside when it's switched on. Does he does he go back and switch it on? No, I think that's pretty much it. All right, well for this one, um, I'm gonna give this probably seven point five. Uh, this one I've seen before, I think. Yep. Uh, this is a TT build, a Thermal Tick Invitational. Uh, very clean, red and white theme going on. Red coolant kind of really makes it stand out. Um, it's so very futuristic and spacey, right? Something off, um, you know, the space odyssey and kind of, yeah. Everything's so white and clean. You got the red coolant, which makes it really stand out. Yeah, I quite like this. I'm gonna give this a eight. Ooh, cable management. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's so clean. All right, eight point five then. Eight point eight point five for this one. Very clean. Very nice. Very futuristic. Okay. Moving on. Oh, have we seen this one before? 
um, red with blue RGB fans uh, doesn't quite go well with the color scheme going on there. Oh, I do like this though. I do like the uh, the graphics card backplate with the uh, neon, honestly neon, the the acrylic there. Okay. Oh, is this a uh, an Iron Man build? Mark 85. Oh, yeah. So, it's one of the Iron Man suits. I think um, maybe red and gold would have been better with the Iron Man. Uh, possibly. Or is Mark 85 red and black? The the uh, I think the, f the front bit, yeah, could be blue. But um, the, the fans could have been a different color, though, I think. Kind of the color combination is kind of weird. All right, well, I'm going to give this a... Uh, I'm going to give this a yeah, possibly 7.5. There's a little video of my uh, microphone. All right, let's have a look where else before we take a break. All right. Yeah, these are the uh, oh, accelerators from Nvidia. All right, I saw that one earlier. Okay. What is this? This is an interesting build. Uh, RGB keyboards. Oh, look at that. Oh, is that the... Oh, I thought it was RAM sticking out. I thought, what the hell? Um, interesting build. That's something I haven't seen before. Uh, looks very Gundam-y. Gun gum Gundam-y? Gundam-y? <laughs> Gundam robot-ish. <laughs> um, yeah, that's interesting build. I I'm gonna, I might give this a uh, eight. Ah, eight point five. This is like a yeah, eight point five for this one. It's uh, it's clean. I do like the design. It's like a jet engine. All right, okay. Uh, let's move on. We saw yeah, we saw that one for Carnage. And I think we've seen that before in our previous shows. Okay, that's it for uh, Mods of the Week. Uh, thanks, Rattle Row, for the selection at the uh, uh, Funky Gadgets and Group. And, of course, we got the uh, the main one, Extreme PC Modding Group. Make sure you head over there to get some modding ideas. And if you have any mods that you want to show off, head over there and start posting. So that was Mods of the Week. Thank you for the show. All right, so we're going to take a break. And after that, we got some more prize giveaways. And, uh, of course, some uh, thoughts on... AMD versus uh, Nvidia and then we'll do of course crypto update and so on. So we'll take a break and we'll be back after this. Okay, see you a bit.
Hey, welcome back to the show, the Funky Show Live with me, your host, Winston. And hope you enjoyed that little video. That is what you'll be winning if you subscribe to our Twitch channel. Head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. Yes, and this is what you'll be winning. It's a Azrael B550 PG Riptide along with a, 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 a Ryzen 5 5600X processor. Yes, we're given a combo, uh, both the board and the chip on our uh, special uh, prize giveaway for our Twitch subscribers, which will be held on the 28th of November. So don't forget to subscribe. Head over to twitch.tv slash forget and subscribe. And of course, uh, be uh, live on the show as well. All right. And of course, uh, don't forget, if you want to get some merchandise, Funky Kit merchandise, you can get them uh, on the streamlabs.com slash Funky Kit slash merch. We got like a baseball caps, we got mugs, we got a jacket, backpack, t-shirts, hoodies, uh, string bag, mouse mat, and flip-flops. Again, available right now to buy, and it will, of course, support us, um, the channel and so on. So yeah, thanks in advance for... Uh, and of course, we love to show our appreciation if you continue to support us. All right. So, yes, Funky Kit merch available at streamlabs.com slash funky kit slash merch. All right. Okay. So, let's start uh, with the other prize giveaway. Let me give me a second. And we have, again, 10 minutes for this one. And for this one, you need to type in the command, uh, I love you, Mr. Beast. <laughs> All right. Let's start. We've got 10 minutes for this one. And it has started. So Pandab, uh, you are out of this one because you run, won something uh, in the earlier prize giveaway. And uh, again, we're giving away the ASRock B460M Steel Ledger motherboard, which is uh, this particular board that we're going to give you away right here. Yes, it's the ASRock B460M Steel Ledger motherboard. And this is uh, suitable for 10, uh, 10th generation Intel uh, and possibly 11th gen if you update the BIOS. And it's a micro ATX board with, uh, of course, lots of ASRock features, including the uh, polychrome sync and supports DDR4 RAM 2933. Yeah, it's a nice board. Um, we've actually used one of these before. Very nice. And it's available right now. Uh, no need to subscribe. Just head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit. Give us a follow. Join the chat. Type in the command. Plus, I love you, Mr. Beast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, cool. So uh, I'll let that run for 10 minutes and uh, let's do crypto update. Yes, crypto update. So here we need to uh, make an announcement. And uh, yeah, here we go. It's time for Funky Kit's crypto update. Remember, Winston is not a financial <laughs> advisor. So please be sure to seek professional advice with your investments. That's right. Professional advice. Uh, make sure you seek professional advice because I'm not your financial advisor. But anyway, here's my thoughts of uh, this week with the crypto. Let's head over to the, uh, uh, here we go. This is the crypto coin market cap .com. So here we go. Take a look at that. So crypto has been all over the place uh, last week. It did dip. And um, if you had a chance to buy then, um, great. But uh, lots of things have been happening. Um, I think Solana and uh, who are, where else? Solana, ADA. A few others have gone, um, you know, dropped a little bit over the week. But uh, over the 24 hours, it's gone up a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm looking at here, Avalanche. Avalanche is pretty cool. Uh, very nice uh, gains. 17% over the week and 12% just a day. So they've gone up. You can see the graph there. So Avalanche is something that you might want to look into. Okay. And then uh, we got, of course, Algorand and Polygon. Those are kind of affordable ones. They're under $2. So, yeah, crypto is, is you know, it's happening and it's the future. Uh, of course, you know, investments. Make sure you, you know, only afford to buy a whatever you could afford to lose because uh you never know there's always risks involved right but i've been playing with crypto for about three years uh and so far yeah i've made gains um so yeah it's definitely worth looking into and i think uh, uh with so many apps available right now um make sure you you know read all the terms and conditions uh i usually use a couple 
um, spread them out a little bit. You know, you don't want to put them in all into one basket. You don't want to put all your eggs in there. You want to spread them out. I, I, I usually have like two or three uh, uh, exchanges, crypto exchanges, where I buy and sell. And then I take what I've sold or, you know, put them out and transfer them onto an external wallet or a hot wallet that's not on the exchange. That allows you then to actually take control of your crypto, right? With all your secret uh, phrases and stuff like that. So, yeah. But yeah, look out for the uh, the ones which are moving. Cardano or Cardano, Solana, things like that. Uh, Polkadot is also doing good. Like, here you go. It's dropping, which is a good time to buy as well. Um, so the couple of things I do would I would advise to avoid things like Dogecoin and, and, and Shiba because those coins are not really there's no real kind of real life real case real use out of them right I mean all the other ones for example Solana and Cardano they they use for like uh, crypto verification and transactional verification as well as N NFTs. There's, there's some use of those cryptos and blockchains, right? But for Dogecoin and Shiba, there's there's no real life case in use of them, which is, I don't know why they've gone up, but uh, I guess everybody's, you know, jumping on the bandwagon and buying them in. But um, yeah, you got to be careful with those ones. But others, um, read up on it. Read up on the actual crypto that you're interested in. See what they actually use it for and then uh, then decide. But of course, Bitcoin and ETH are the big brothers, um, and you you pretty safe bet on those ones. But uh, it's it's pretty expensive buy in. But hey, if you do regular m uh, monthly payments in, you know, like you know, if you have a spare fifty dollars a month, then buy in. Why not? It's better than putting in the bank. All right. So that said, um, we'll we'll talk more about uh, cryptos and NFTs in our next show because uh, interestingly, NFT have really gone really big over the last couple of uh, months and from last year even and i, I want to kind of talk about how nft is going to be the be next big thing i guess or it is a big thing already but uh, still a lot of people don't understand the concept be behind nft i'm still learning about nfts but yeah uh we'll, we'll kind of dive in that a little bit more all right so that's crypto update hope you enjoyed that and uh of course don't forget I'm not your financial advisor. Do seek professional advice. And of course, anything that you invest is your own risk. All right. With that said, let's move on and talk about uh, NVIDIA versus AMD. So um, this is a uh, long, 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 long debate with history. It's been going on for many, many, many years. Uh, as you all know, NVIDIA is on top of the game. They, you know, they're doing AI, they're doing uh, GPU servers and data centers and things like that. Their performance of their accelerators and, and graphics card are, you know, top notch. They're, they're leaders in that field. I don't think you can get anything better than NVIDIA right now, but they're expensive, right? Um, but uh, AMD is up and coming. They've always been in the background. But uh, uh, and the thing is, lot, not a lot of people know that AMD, uh, although they might be considered as underdogs, they are growing. They are really growing. And you have like thanks to Lisa Su, Dr. Lisa Su, the CEO, and she's managed to you know take the AMD up. And you got Ryzen processors now. I mean, the Ryzen processors today, right now, is still as good as as if you compare it with Intel in terms of price. Uh, in terms of performance wise and and compatibility my people think oh well amd is going to be compat you know some issues with compatibility but i think for a desktop pc gaming pc amd works just as fine okay the radeon graphics card may be not as great performing versus nvidia but hey uh i'm, I'm down with the uh, amd anytime you give me you give me in terms of price right price so if you have comparison versus price in terms of performance i would i would choose amd over intel uh anytime or uh, nvidia but um if, if if budget and money is no no issue then yeah go for intel go for uh, nvidia uh but yeah there's rumors one of rumors right now you know that intel's launched their 12th gen and 12th gen is great performer don't get me wrong they're really good chips um they finally intel's moved on to 10th nanometer architecture which is a long, long overdue. Uh, but the thing is with that is 
you need a new motherboard. You need a Z690 board to take the full advantage of that. And then there's confusion with uh, bringing out two types of boards. Uh, I went to the shop the other day and I found out, hey, you can get DDR4 boards with a Z69 chipset, right? And then, that, but then you need a if you, if you want to take full advantage of the 12th gen, then you need a, a Z690 board with DDR5 support, and that's another board. So you got to be careful. You know, would would you want a, a Z690 board with DDR4 RAM? or go for everything new but the ddr5 ram right now is double the price of ddr4 so it's complete right now is if you if you buy an intel 12th gen you got to be careful what you're going to be getting right um which is which is a bit, bit of a pain really <laughs> if ddr5 ram prices are drop then yeah and then right now there's no pci 5 support right now right i have to tell you guys there's no graphics card with PCI 5 support and there's no SSDs at the moment with PCI 5 support. So we'll, we'll see more of that next year. And I think AMD is waiting the right time. It's all about timing, I think. Next year, when DDR5 and PCI 5 are starting to pick up, um, then they'll have the the, um, the the Zen 4. That'd be interesting. Zen 4, uh, new AMD chip with the LGA socket. So pinless, which is fantastic, I'm hoping, uh, with five nanometer technology architecture, so that would be great. And then of course you need a new board for that. Um, so yeah, I'm really rooting for AMD. Yeah. Uh, in terms of graphics though, uh, they are still behind Nvidia. Uh, I, I'm waiting for their, their next uh, RDNA 3, which is gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to see what it can do. Uh, of course, uh, Nvidia will be on top of that with the RTX 40 series. Uh, people are already planning the RTX 40 series because they can't get hold of the RTX 30 series, right? Oh, they can, but those stupid prices. The, the other day I went into the shop and I looked at it, the, the RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti, 3090. It's still like 1500 $2,000 US. It's ridiculous. Some of them, the, the, the extreme overclocked versions with the um, uh, or water cooling and stuff like that. So that particular version costs like two and a half thousand. That's ridiculous. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so I think RTX 30 series is done really. Um, if, you, if you're planning to get a new graphics card, hopefully the uh, chip shortage will ease up and... Um, the only problem with that is you're going to get miners, right? Because crypto has gone up like crazy. I think people will start getting those new RTX 40 series for, for mining. Um, we'll probably be back at square one. But anyway, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But um, if you don't get me wrong, NVIDIA graphics card are amazing. The performance is uh, fantastic uh, over AM, uh, the Radeons. But in terms of price, not too good. Uh, if you give me a choice to buy... Uh, a certain budget, then I'll I'll, I'll probably choose a, a Radeon over an Nvidia, but uh, that's my that's my that's my choice. Yeah, that's my take anyway. But yeah, because uh, that's because I'm an AMD fan, right? <laughs> All right, okay. Let's have a look at the uh, price. Give you. Oh, we got five minute, four minutes left. Okay, I can see the list there. So, oh. Pandap, thank you for not joining. Yes, well done for that. Uh, as you know, of course, Pandap won something earlier. He won the Azrock, one of the Azrock uh, B four sixty MC Ledger motherboards, and uh, he was glad enough or happy enough to skip this one. And uh, I did tell him that he because he won two boards over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I said to him, if you want to keep one of them, and the other one, you could pay it forward. And obviously donate it or give it to a friend and stuff like that. So yeah, so thanks uh, Pandap for that. Uh, yeah, we got four to five, uh, three minutes left. So let that run, and uh, we will do the wheels aside. All right. So we've done a crypto update, and we've done, of course, Nvidia versus AMD uh, thoughts. So leave your comments. Tell us what you think about Nvidia versus AMD. Um, if you, you got to look at it two ways, performance is one thing. Price is another, right? Performance, of course, you can't argue. Nvidia's on top. Price-wise, though, 
versus performance i think price is also uh you need to consider that i think amd wins on that um area there all right okay so uh a couple of more announcements we've got um some more prize giveaways uh for next month will uh a christmas special yeah a christmas special i'll tell you more about that when it comes next month or end of this month uh, but we got some more prize giveaways for um, from uh, from Azrock, so we got lots, lots of uh, information about that, and um, I'm not sure what they're gonna give us this time. But yeah, we're gonna get, we're gonna do some uh, nice prize giveaways over the next uh, couple of months. And I've got some uh, announcements I will make towards the end of the year. I've got some um, news about what's happening with the show and all sorts. So yeah, stay tuned for that. All right, okay, we've got two minutes on the uh, prize giveaway, and that's the, uh, we're giving away the ASRock B560M Steel Legend Motherboard, and uh, all you need to do is head over to twitch.tv slash funkykit, that's right, give us a follow, join the chat, and type in the command, yes, I love you, Mr. Beast, <laughs> all right, and we'll take the names, and we'll put them to wheel the side, and we'll pick a winner from there, all right, so for the, the grand prize for the end of the month, don't forget, you need to hit the uh, subscribe button. Head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. And this, guys, is what you'll be winning. That's right. The B550PG Riptide along with the uh, AMD Ryzen 5 5600X processor combo. And we're giving that away for our Twitch subscribers only. So don't forget, you need to subscribe. And, of course, join the show on the 28th of November. Where we will announce one of the winners. One lucky winner. One lucky subscriber, I should say. But yeah, here we go. This is what you'll be getting. It's the Ryzen. I never get the focus right. Let me get the focus right. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, uh, there we go. And that's the, the Ryzen 5. That's right. 5600X. We're giving one of these away. Along with this motherboard. Yes. The ASRock B550 PG Riptide. That's right. For one lucky Twitch subscriber. So head over to twitch.tv slash funky get and subscribe. And get ready for the uh, live prize giveaway show on the 28th of November. Only available for our Twitch subscribers. So head over to twitch.tv slash funky get and subscribe. Alright, for this one though, we got 30 seconds left. Uh, this is available to everybody. And we're giving away the ASRock B560M Steel Legend on the board. Uh, head over to twitch.tv slash funky kit. Follow us, join the chat, and uh, let me get this, here we go, oh, here we go, we've got 10 seconds left, oh, super exciting, super, super exciting, all right, <laughs> Pig Radio says B is for B550 stands for the beast. <laughs> right. How did you lose your hoodie? Argonon. Did you like did someone did it did it got delivered and you got and you it got lost? I can't help you there, sorry. <laughs> All right, so the uh, price giveaway on the uh, Streamlabs have stopped, and uh, I'm going to pull these names out. All right, here we go. And we're going to put them in the um, wheel decide. Give me a second. Let me set this up. Give me a second. Oh, pants. Pants, pants, pants. There we go. All right. So next month, I might get some more people to um, join the show, get some more guests. Uh, I've, been, I've been super busy, uh, a lot of stuff to sort out what we call uh, loose hands. Is it loose hands? Oh, hands tail, they call it. <laughs> if you translate it in Chinese, it's called Sao Mei. Right. 
Here we go. Got some names in there. Let me put that in the wheel to side. Give me a second. Yeah. Okay. Let me apply this. Oh, oh here we go. All right, just to let you know, guys, uh, thanks for joining the show and, of course, um, entering the prize giveaway for today. And we've given away uh, two ASRock B460M uh, Steel Legend motherboard. Uh, one way uh, giveaway earlier today in a show, and Pandap actually won that. And uh, for the second one, uh, we'll do the wheel to side. And uh, here we go. For the names or entries or entrants, we have Argonon, Rattle Row, Scumberg, Y Chen. One two one. We got Tian, Amanda, Mark, Aries twenty five, Jarek, Pig Radio, I Grandparents, Syed, Sweetie Balls, Pizza X. That's right. Princess Joan, Valdez D, Is it Havasi, True, Break It Twin, and Jacob Jacobius Maximus. <laughs> Welcome and uh, thanks for entering the prize giveaway. All right, so let's head over to the uh we'll decide yes we'll decide here you go we'll decide <laughs> so i'm gonna count down to five and then we're gonna hit the uh spin the wheel already here we go five four three two one here we go and we're gonna pick a winner <laughs> oh yeah all right here we go here we go 15 seconds all right. Aries 25, you are the winner. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, well done. Awesome. Well done, Aries 25. Don't forget, uh, you, Aries 25. Uh, take a screenshot. Okay. Uh, Pandap, you didn't take a screenshot, but hey, Pandap, Aries 25, don't forget to send me your shipping address, telephone number. And of course, your name to media at funkykit.com. All right? Yes. And then I will uh, ask Azrock to ship those out to you. Okay? Pandap, every 25. Don't forget, shipping address, telephone number, and your name. All right. So, well done to every 25 and Pandap. Well done. Well done. All right. I'm feeling generous today. Shall we do another one? Give us a give us a thumbs up if you want another prize giveaway. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> sure. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, in that case, then we'll do another prize giveaway because I'm feeling generous today. All right. And, uh, yeah, this time we're going to give away, uh, here we go. Um, some merchandise, shall we? Our funky kit merchandise. That's right. Okay. Let's do that then. We'll do a poll so that, uh, you decide what you want to win. Okay. So let's do a quick poll and you decide what you want to win. We got t-shirt, we got a mug, we got a mouse mat, baseball cap, string bag, hoodie. Uh, the last few polls, uh, everybody's picked hoodie because winter is coming and it's cold, right? You need to wear something nice and warm. And as predicted, look at that. The hoodie's in the lead, look at that. Everybody loves a hoodie. <laughs> oh guys, don't forget, if you do get a hoodie, or get any merchandise, please share it on your social media. Give us a follow. Ask your friends to give us a follow. And of course, uh, spread the word. Spread the good news. Spread the good word. Looks like the hoodie is the winner. We've got 20 seconds. Yeah. Okay. So don't forget, although you haven't or didn't get to win the motherboards in today's live show, we always give something out to you guys and is open to everybody. Last 
prize giveaway of today in it's a funky kit merchandise and you pick what you want to win it looks like hoodie has won check it out yeah hoodie is in lead and uh yes it is what it is and we're giving away the uh, funky hoodie that's right let's start the uh, giveaway right now and uh we'll do five minutes on this one and then we will uh there we go let me just get the up and running and for this one uh yeah we'll keep the same we'll keep the same um command shall we that's right here we go let's start the uh, prize giveaway i need to log in give us a second once I've logged in and we're ready to go. Let's start this prize giveaway. And uh, here we go. One, eight, two, oh, seven. All right. We're looking good and the uh, prize giveaway looks like has started we have five minutes guys head over to twitch.tv slash funky kit give us a follow and join the chat and the command is what it is plus i love you mr beast yeah it's a hoodie everybody chose a hoodie all right looking good looking good uh, guys, don't forget, um, something for you to win uh, for the 28th is this one, the ASRock B550 PG Riptide, along with the, the processor. Yes, that's right. Look at that. The Ryzen 5 5600X, along with the ASRock B550 PG Riptide motherboard. We're giving away uh, the, com com the combo, yeah, both board and chip. Uh, for our Twitch subscribers, so don't forget head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe and uh, and tune in for the show on the 28th of November where we will pick one lucky subscriber Yeah All right With that said uh, We have Three minutes left for our funky hoodie. We're giving away a funky hoodie our last giveaway of today's show and that is the funky Kid hoodie that's right it's a lovely hoodie nice and warm i want to get my get them over myself yeah i think i'll get one myself let's ask funky chick hey do you think i should get my get one myself a funky Kid hoodie to keep warm for the winter <laughs> i think he said yeah <laughs> i'm gonna take this around with me anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna start tattoo his uh, funky kit, funky chick, into his chest right here. <laughs> Aries twenty five and Pandap, send me your shipping address, telephone number, and full name to media at funkykit.com. Okay. All right, we have two and a half minutes on the Funky Good Hoodie giveaway, open to all. And if this would be our last prize giveaway of today. So thanks, guys, for joining the show. Do spread the word. And uh, yeah, hopefully the channel will grow. And of course, lots of prize giveaways every week and every month. A fantastic premium prize at the end of every month and a weekly prize giveaways throughout the show every week and uh yeah you might as well call me mr beast of the computer world like you said thanks pig radio for the uh, jingle this is fantastic i can't thank you more than enough it's it's uh it's you guys that makes the show because you guys join every week and it's uh by the way, uh, next year though, I have to give you the, some heads up. Uh, the times of the show uh, will be different. It will be for Asia. It will be later on, uh, like early hours in the morning. I'm afraid. Uh, for 
Europe, European time, UK time, it would be late evening or sorry, early evening. And for US Eastern time and Canada West Coast would be uh, daytime, lunchtime kind of. So uh, it's, it's because of, um, yeah, our, our new show times will be announced next year. And don't forget. So don't worry. I'll make sure that. All right. We got 50 seconds left and uh, we're giving away a funky hoodie. And if you want to see what it looks like, here we go. Check out the uh, website there. Funky hoodie we have right here. Very nice. Very nice. Here we go. That's what it looks like. Available in the black. We have it in the pink as well. Navy, gray, as well as white. Lovely hoodie. I believe they are uh, champion branded uh, or, or made by champion. That's what I heard last time. It, I, it could, I might be wrong. But um, very high quality hoodie. Don't forget, if you want to support us in any way, you can and uh, support the channel. You can always buy the Funky Kit merchandise anytime. Head over to streamlabs.com slash funky kit. Oh, sorry. Streamlabs.com slash funky kit slash merch. Yes. And you can get some uh, baseball caps, the uh, mug, the jacket, backpack, t shirt, a hoodie, and there's more. String bag, mouse mat, and flip flops. And of course, any purchase will help us with the show. So thanks uh, in advance. And we'll, of course, more than appreciate your support. All right. I think we are done with that. And we will pick a winner, shall we? And this one is just a, a Streamlabs kind of auto pick winner. But I will count to five. And we will pick the uh, the winner for the Funky Kit hoodie. And it's our last prize giveaway of the day. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Word. And the winner is True. You are the winner of the Funky Kit hoodie. Well done. <laughs> Woo! And uh, of course, I'll give you a clap. Awesome. 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 Well done. Well done. Click on a link. Claim your prize. That's right. Okay. So uh, I think before we go, I just want to do one more thing again, just to remind you guys, this is what you'll be winning uh, on the 28th of November, our live show where we will give one lucky winner. Um, of course, you need to be a Twitch subscriber. So head over to twitch.tv slash funky kit and subscribe. And uh, we're giving away the ASRock B550 PG Riptide motherboard along with the AMD Ryzen 5 5600X processor. It's a chip and board combo to one lucky Twitch subscriber. That's right. So that's a reminder. And also you can check out the, uh, the page where we're giving away the prize giveaway um, on our website as well. For more information about that. Here we go. Again, as a reminder, you need to be a Twitch subscriber. So head over to twitch.tv slash funky and subscribe. And on our live show on the 28th of November, Sunday, we will make, uh, of course, pick a winner. And it's only available for a Twitch subscriber. All right. Okay, we'll call it, for the, we'll call it a day for the show. So thanks, guys, for joining. And don't forget to share our content, visit our website for more news, reviews, and hot tips. And uh, of course, support us in any way you can by uh, following us, sharing our content, subscribing, and so on. Uh, really appreciate you guys for joining the show. Yeah, sub, yeah, prime subs too. Yeah, yeah. Just hit the subscribe and you'll be, uh, uh, of course, you need to be live on a show on, on Sunday the 28th and uh, join the show and uh, we will um, of course s set the command for you guys to type in for our subscribers all right guys uh we will call it a day thanks for joining and of course be safe and enjoy the rest of the weekend until next week this is winston for funkit.com and this is the, the funky show live see you soon bye bye